Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services. What we got here today is a puzzling problem. We need to upgrade from this older computer to this newer computer. We know Windows 10, but they're both running Windows 10. Uh, Windows 10 allows us to put the hard drive from one system to another without having to go through a blue screen of Windows 7. However, the difference here is this system runs in legacy mode and this one is only UEFI. It's a brand new system, they have disabled legacy. The problem is legacy, which is the MBR system, master boot record, and UEFI, are not compatible as far as booting into Windows. What do we do? And what we need to do is the following. I have researched quite a bit and uh, looked everywhere and I ended up having to call Microsoft and what I was told is that there is a command the command is MBR to GPT conversion. So we're going to do the MBR to GPT conversion on these computers. First, what we need to do is push control, I mean, uh, start menu X. That will give us this menu. And under shutdown or sign out, there is restart, okay? We push and hold shift and do restart. This will uh, restart the computer in a safe mode, so to speak, the Windows 10 type safe mode. Okay, we get this screen. We wanna do a troubleshoot and we wanna do advanced options and we want to go to command prompt the computer will restart and put us into the command prompt where we can run our command This is something that is, I'm grateful to Microsoft for doing. Um, I have in the past have tried converting from master boot record to uh, UEFI and it did not work. I don't know which way it's right way to say it, UEFI or GPT. Okay, we're going to select the user and it's going to ask us for a password. Okay, I gotta have the password typed in correctly. All right, so that gives us the DOS prompt. In this window, we are going to type in this command. Let me get the camera up. And that is MBR number two, GPT space forward slash validate, V-A-L. I D A T E validate. Zoom in. Okay, the command runs really quickly, and it just uh, makes sure that we're dealing with the right disk. 
uh, the layout of the disk, um, sectors and all that good stuff. One thing before you do this, you have to make sure that your hard drive is not encrypted with BitLocker. If it is, decrypt the hard drive first. Okay, second command we're gonna do, we're gonna run, is mbr number two gpt space forward slash convert. C-O-N-V-E-R-T. So mbr to gpt forward slash convert. All right, hit enter. This command will run for a little more than the previous one. It actually does something. Um, a thing to note. And a thing to note is, okay, um, it's done. So less than a minute. Okay, hang on. All right, sorry for detour. Um, what I was gonna say is now this computer is booting into legacy. We've converted the hard drive to boot into GPT or UEFI, however you say it. So this computer will not boot anymore. Let's exit out of our screen, turn off the computer and you exit by just typing exit. So if we turn this computer on right now, let's just check on it, it will not boot because the BIOS is set to legacy or uh, master boot record booting. It's looking for booted, bootable drives, nothing. Okay, we've converted. Let's transfer our plugs to the other computer. Disconnect our hard drive. Put this computer away. Plug in our hard drive. And turn on that computer. What I should have done probably to make the point is to plug in this hard drive before the conversion so that you can see that this computer does not boot. And as you can see right now, it's booting properly. But I did it the other way. I showed you that after the conversion, the computer would not boot into a hard drive. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody save a few dollars on um, not having to, well, this is more like time and software because nothing needs to be reinstalled. This hard drive is pre-installed with a lot of software and uh, going from a legacy to um, UEFI is basically a conversion. A um, couple of minutes, type in the conversion and you're ready to go. Uh, one thing that will need to be done on this is, of course, drivers need to be installed. There are some programs that need to be disabled, normal nitty-gritty stuff, but uh, nothing major that needs to be done to this computer as far as uh, installing, activating software and things like that. And uh, as you can see, the system is booting, booting properly. Uh, first time boot will always take longer. Do not be alarmed. What's important is those little dots are jumping and uh, <clears throat> we're gonna get, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna have to find the new drivers. It's gonna have to uh, do whatever it is that it needs to do to uh, start this computer properly. And uh, in the back, you can see my little yeah. 
Oni thing. I'll be doing a video on that one. I've done a video on opening, but got it working. I will put the commands down below in the uh, uh, description. Uh, I will um, try and type up a proper way that the conversion needs to be done. Um, this will work. Uh, I have uh, done it multiple times. It works flawlessly. Uh, thanks Microsoft for doing this. And uh, I want to wait until it gets into Windows so that you can see that it actually works. Uh, doing it on a Dell is always better than almost any other system. Uh, Dell is one of my favorite systems. These are Dell Optiplexes, but uh, the two Dell systems are Dell Latitude, Dell Optiplex, and uh, XPS. Absolutely the best systems in the world. And if anybody disagrees with me, you can put that down in the comment section. And uh, if I see the comment, I will answer why you may have problems with one of those systems. Most likely it's a hard drive and uh, most likely it's not Dell's fault. Uh, Dell's Optiplex latitudes fail very rarely. If they do, they fail completely, so you throw them away. Um, but normally they run, run just forever. So the system is going to go through its normal paces, restarting a few times, it's uh, finding the drivers and incorporating them before it can start. So don't be alarmed. First time, it's always going to take a long time for Windows to start. Just be patient, leave it, leave it alone. Until you get an error, if you get an error, then we got a problem to deal with. And most likely the problem is on the original source disk. Hopefully in just a few seconds we'll have our Windows screen and that will be the end of it. The end of conversion, but not the end of actually working on a computer. Like I said, drivers need to be found. Um, there may be some programs that need to be disabled, uh, so things like that. But core, 99% of the work is done. All right, so we got our screen. Window works. We are good to go. Give me a like if you like the video. If you like more videos like this, subscribe, enjoy, and save money.